Tell me about that, that difference, the utility between therapy and why meditation matters so much. Okay. First of all, let me say that I'll text you my YouTube channel. And I think the very first Dharma talk I recorded is called, You Think You Can't Meditate, But You Can. Great. And it, it's a real how-to about Zen meditation um, that will help you. So here's how it goes. I just said that we all have a we all have self awareness, but self awareness just because there's a word for the self doesn't mean the self exists in the way we think it does. I mean, we have this body, we have sight, we have all these senses, you know, taste, smell, touch, all of that. But the thing we refer to as a self is actually an awareness. Each of our organs have awareness, eyes have awareness, ears have awareness, and the self is what organizes all of them, tells us when something's going on out over here or behind us or what our intuitions are doing, but we think of it having a physical self like an organ, and it doesn't. And that's the good news, because the good news is that there's nothing about you that's not mediable that's not either habit or constant practice. If there's something about yourself you don't like and you're serious about getting to the bottom of it, meditation will reveal it to you and will show you a path to ba basically conquer a bad habit. So the difference between meditation and therapy is therapy posits an ego. It posits it like an entity. And we can think of neurosis as being caught in a, in a loop that is at odds with reality. And what a good therapist does is he helps you see things objectively, or she sees things objectively. And if you're working with a good therapist, after a while, you'll start to say, oh, I wonder what Dr. Smith would say about that. Right. And so there you have a perch outside your neurotic loop. You have a place to sit and observe yourself. Well, in meditation, we're paying attention to our posture. We're paying attention to our breathing. I don't know if you sit with this, this mudra, but we're paying attention to that mudra. And that awareness is sequestered. And that's your little perch from which you can observe the brain, your thoughts, your impulses, your sensation, and consciousness. So the limit to therapy is that it can become a black hole. Since the self doesn't exist as a physical entity, we can get lost in polishing, understanding it, trying to get to the bottom of stuff and forget that we still have to change. No matter what trauma we went through, no matter what our history was, if we're at odds with reality, if we're, if our daily practice is not resonant with the way the world and the universe actually work, we're in trouble.